This chair makes a funny air compressing noise every time I sit down. It's like. Anyways, here in Oregon for the last week or so, the snow has really been coming down in the local mountains. Winter is finally here. And so I went ahead and I bought myself some snowshoes. And now I've never owned snowshoes in the past. And to be honest, I've never even gone snowshoeing. But this winter, I wanna do a lot of camping, backpacking, hiking, that kind of thing. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and get them. Now in order to find the best possible day to test out my new snowshoes, I've actually partnered with the folks over at AccuWeather for this video. If you're not already familiar with AccuWeather, they're a weather forecasting company who makes what I believe to be the best, most accurate weather app that I've ever used. Not only is the app extremely accurate, but it also is jam-packed with very useful features that we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video. For now, let's just hop onto the app and see if we can find an ideal day to go test out my new snowshoes. All right, so let's see what we're working with here. I'm pulling up the AccuWeather app, and AccuWeather actually gives you a few different options on how you can view the weather forecast. The first of which being the today function, and under the today function, you can find very detailed and specific information about a certain day. So things like temperature, wind direction, max wind gusts, humidity, all kinds of very detailed and useful information if you need specifics about a certain day. Now the next feature is the hourly function and this just breaks down the weather hour by hour. So this is gonna be extremely useful if you're planning your day around certain activities or you need to do something at a specific time. It's really nice to be able to look and see what the weather is gonna be at a given hour. For today, we're actually gonna be focusing on the daily feature and the daily feature just shows you a weather breakdown for the week. It shows you what temperatures and what conditions you could expect overall day by day. So right away, I see that today and tomorrow, it looks like it's snowing all day. So that means there's gonna be some really good snow conditions on the ground. And then Tuesday, Tuesday actually the clouds seem to open up a little bit. It's calling for partly cloudy skies, so that means there's gonna be some blue skies, there's gonna be a little bit of sunshine. It's not gonna be snowy, snowy conditions, which is probably ideal because this is gonna be our first time snowshoeing, so we would, we don't wanna be in a snowstorm. So honestly, according to AccuWeather, it looks like Tuesday is gonna be our best bet. So Tuesday it is. All right, folks, today is the day. Today we're headed to Mount Hood to go test out my snowshoes. And according to the AccuWeather app, as predicted, it's looking like a very beautiful day. Right now it's currently 26 degrees up there and partly cloudy skies. The sun is going to be in the sky for a lot of the day, which is absolutely perfect. Now AccuWeather has a feature called Real Feel that I'll be closely monitoring throughout this trip. Real Feel is a data backed feature that takes factors like UV exposure, wind, precipitation, those kinds of things into account and it creates a temperature based on those conditions and what you could actually expect the weather to feel like. Now, I'm sure we've all experienced it where our weather app is telling us it's one temperature, but it really feels a lot colder or warmer than the temperature that your app is saying. This is a great way to get an accurate idea of exactly what you can expect from the weather. This is extremely important when you're doing outdoor activities such as snowshoeing because you really wanna plan and prepare for the specific weather patterns that you're going to be encountering. That way, you're gonna stay comfortable, you're gonna stay safe, and things are just gonna go a lot more smoothly. But anyways, that is a really cool feature, but it's getting pretty late, so it's time we hit the road.
Rescue Weather also has a feature called Winter Cast, and it essentially keeps track of how much snow is falling, how much is expected to stay on the ground. And today, according to Winter Cast, there will be no little to no extra accumulation of more snow. But anyways, let's let's just gear up and get out there. I've never snowshoed before, so I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm not gonna do anything like intense, but we're gonna get out there, get moving a little bit, and see what happens. really enjoying this already and I'm just getting started so let's continue Woo. These GoPro batteries die insanely fast. Like, it's unbelievable. If any of you out there use a GoPro 9, what kind of battery life do you guys get? Because it just dies so fast. And I know in the cold, batteries don't last as long, at least the lithium ion batteries. So that's part of the reason. But still, I swear it's going down more than 1% a minute. It's like 2%, 3% every single minute, uh, which is insane. But. Good thing I have a few batteries. How's it going? Yeah. <laughs> she looks friendly. Hi, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Can I pet her? Sorry. She's from right. Newfoundland, so she's super mellow. Yeah, this she's just one. very vocal. She's yeah, excitable. Yeah. Hey. But once, once she, you like throw a ball or something for yeah, her, she's yeah. just like super. Trust yeah. earned. Yeah. Instant. This is probably <laughs> what? a mistake what? bringing this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they were barking a lot, but you could tell that they were really friendly. I need a dog. Maybe I'll get a dog in their near future. Hey, buddy. That's some powder for you. Look at that. I just realized, well I actually realized it a while ago, but I'm just remembering to say it now, that since there's all this snow up here in Mount Hood, I'm sure that the ski lifts are open now. I don't ski, I snowboard, but regardless, that means winter sports have begun. I think I'm gonna get my season passes here. I don't do backcountry riding because I don't have experience in the backcountry, but if anyone out there wants to help a brother out, feel free to reach out on Instagram because I'm down to do it all this year. If you guys are interested in uh, some truck camping in the snow slash snowboarding videos, like I could sleep in the, uh, the snow resorts parking lots and whatnot, and then go riding during the day, let me know because I think, I think I really want to do that this year. Got a lot of plans, got a lot of plans, which I'm sure you're kind of aware of by now, by all the different things I say. Oh, I want to do that, I want to do that. And just like that, it looks like we got some stormy clouds rolling in. I don't know if it's just passing or if we could say goodbye to the blue skies for good.
Will I be able to open this bag with gloves on? Oh, got him. Look at that. getting pretty late here and I'm really really hungry so I'm just gonna turn it around start heading back this was cool this is cool I'm really excited to see what's next yeah sure oh, no etiquette yeah <laughs> yeah of course <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Enjoy. So another really awesome feature on the AccuWeather app is something called the Allergy Outlook. And it basically just measures things like pollen, dust, molds, and really those types of allergens. And it quantifies um, how much you could expect to be in a given location at a given time on a certain day or whatever. Me personally, I, I don't really have too much of a problem with allergies, fortunately. But for those who are less fortunate and get severely impacted by allergies, I would imagine that this would be an extremely useful feature because something like allergies can really be the make or break if you're planning an adventure um, or traveling or whatever, just your daily life, if anything. So that's an awesome feature. And I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that in another weather app, at least none that I've ever used. So super cool that AccuWeather is able to include that. I'm almost back to the truck now and I am hungry. Seems like the sun is coming down much earlier up here in the mountains. I have all these pine needles on the ground because I got our Christmas tree and loaded it into the camper to transport it. So there's all these Christmas tree needles everywhere. It is damn cold in here right now. Let's turn up the thermostat. Get it going nice and warm in here. a little bit because we're running the heater. Oh yes. Oh yes. I don't know why I'm so cold today. Usually I handle this weather a lot better but today 
Today I'm feeling cold. Thank God for this heater. I had to double bowl it because it's too hot to hold right now. But that doesn't mean it's too hot to eat, does it? Good old Shin Ramen. This stuff is good. It's like a Korean instant ramen. They actually sell it at most, or some big grocery stores. I don't know about most. At least in the areas that I've lived, they carry it at like Kroger, Safeway, that kind of stuff, but it's really, really tasty. It's way better than like Top Ramen. Honestly, I was planning on cooking. I even got some ingredients, but when it came down to it, I've been watching a movie for the last couple hours, and so that kind of made me pretty lazy, and I had this ramen, so I figured, you know, tonight, tonight we're going to take a break from the gourmet cooking. We're just going to keep it simple. This is, this is what we got, so cheers. The shin is spicy. If you guys are sensitive to spice, be warned because this, this stuff has got a kick. I like spicy food and to me, by the end of this bowl, my eyes will probably be watering. Oh, that is some spicy, that's some spicy ramen. Oh wait, good night.
looks like it snowed quite a bit last night and it's still lightly snowing right now. <laughs> Oh boy. Wow, it is. It's really snowy. I'm actually really fortunate and happy that I planned on going snowshoeing yesterday because I wouldn't want to go snowshoeing in these conditions. At least not for my first time. Maybe in the future. This time around, I'm really fortunate to have planned ahead of time with AccuWeather. Uh, once again, thanks to AccuWeather for partnering with me for this video. Anyways, that's it. That's going to be that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys like always for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. You guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life. Beat the status quo. Y'all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.